Man be man is back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh my gosh, the man got messed up. This is a five out of freaking five. It is beat making time. Next week is E3 week. My album comes out next week. I have the leopard. Oh, look at that, my God. This is your point. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, Dash the True and Fun Elf. <laughs> Back at it with another Pokemon Unite commentary video gameplay for you guys. And the NBA playoffs are more or less here. We got the play-in tournament that is still going on right now. So as of me recording this video, the third, well, like the third play-in tournament for the East and the rest will be taking part tonight where the winners of both games will get their number eight seed in their respective conference, and the loser will be eliminated. So, on the east side, it's the 10th seed Chicago Bulls going up against the 7th seed Miami Heat. And on the rest, you got the 10th seed Oklahoma City Thunder taking on the 8th seed Minnesota Timberwolves. So, here's, so the, again, the winner of the, both of those games will take on the number one seeds in their respective conferences. So, for the east, the winner will take on the Bucks and more likely lose and well, if it's the Bulls, the Bucks going to win in five games. But if it's the Heat, I think the Bucks may need six games to finish off the Heat. So there's that. Now, moving on down, let's get the predictions out the way. Let's get it popping. So the second seed, the Hawks won their first playing match against the Hawks. I mean, against the Heat, excuse me. So they're going to take on the Celtics. Celtics should win this one in five. No problem for the Celtics for the most part. The 3-6 matchup, which is already six, will feature the 76ers against the Brooklyn Nets. I can see this one going six games, but I think the 76ers will still get the victory. And then the four or five matchup, it would be the Cavaliers against the Knicks. I'm going with the Knicks in six. There's no way I'm picking the Cleveland to win a playoff game or a playoff series. I'm not doing it. I got the Knicks in six games. Now, moving on to the second round, it's going to be the Bucks against the Knicks. The Bucks is winning this one in six. I'm going to give them six. Bucks in six. So I see the Bucks going to the Eastern Conference Finals. And then on the other side, this is going seven between the Celtics and the 76ers. That's going seven games. I think it's going to be the 76ers. I think the 76ers are going to get the, say, the game seven victory. And we're going to have a Bucks against the 76ers Eastern Conference Finals matchup, which I also see going seven. But I got the Bucks winning that one. And I see them going to the NBA Finals. Now the rest, the rest is going to be hard to pick. So the, obviously, who, who we got? The Thunder Timberwolves matchup. In terms of that last playing match, I, I, I think the Timberwolves going to get the act together and get in only just to get lose. I ain't going to get swept. Nobody going to get swept in this this year. I got the Nuggets knocking off the Timberwolves in five games. Where even if it is the Thunder, they, the Nuggets going to win in five. doesn't matter who wins that last playoff game and the rest. The Nuggets winning in five games. The Grizzly-Lakers matchup, that's tough, actually. The Lakers could potentially pull this off as the seventh seed. They could put it off. But I'm going to play it safe and say that the Grizzlies win this one in seven games. I think, again, the Lakers have a shot to put it off. If they do, they have to do it in six. They have to do it in six. If they don't do it in six, the Grizzlies go winning in seven. So I'm I'm let, so that's I'm rolling with that. The three six matchup, the Kings against the Warriors. That's another tough matchup. I'm going to go with the Warriors. I think the Warriors will get this one in six games. So, yeah, there you go with that. And then the 4-5 matchup, which is another tough one. Basically, these three series with the sense of the number one seed matchup, all of the rest in the first round are going to be tough to pick. I'm going to go with the Clippers. I'm going to go with the Clippers in six games as well. So, the Clippers-Nuggets matchup, that's going to be another one. I think that one's going seven. And I think the Nuggets will win that one and go to the Western Conference Finals. And on the other side, it's the Warriors against the Grizzlies. Oh, and that one is a bit of a rivalry. Oh, that's tough. I think the Warriors will win that one in six. So we're looking at the Warriors against the Nuggets in the Western Conference Finals. I hate to do this because I'm not a fan of number one seeds meeting in the finals. But I think the Nuggets will beat the Warriors in seven. So there you go with that. So the NBA Finals will look like this. The Bucks against the Nuggets. I would, I'll be honest, I would prefer to see the Joker win the NBA championship after winning finals MVP two straight years, maybe even three straight years if he get it this year. I don't think he's going to get it. I think he'll get second behind Embiid. But I got to go with the Bucks. I think the Bucks, the better team, they're going to win the NBA championship this year. So those are my NBA predictions 
for this year. Let me know what your NBA predictions will be in the post, in the comment section below, rather. And I also got the, the Pistons getting the number one pick again this year. Go Pistons. So, I'm going to call it a wrap. So, with all that said, y'all know who this is. This is boy, New Jay Gatsby, a.k.a. New Steve May Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.